Everybody, welcome. I've got the Light Magic Studio 6, and I've done some, even in a few days here, a couple of pretty big updates. And I'm in 4.1 alpha and just kind of testing this thing out because I made it in 3.6, and the pointers and the, the Python behind it is supposed to be transferable, and it looks like it is. Now I've got the LM Studio 5 as well. And as far as I can tell, uh, this one still works as, as intended, if you will. And you still got the IAS lights, the camera manager, and the light manager, and different things. The store data properties, which is not um, currently working, unfortunately. I think there's some conflict there, not working at 4.1. Now the preset lights are still here, which is cool, but all that doesn't matter. This was made in an earlier version of Blender. I think I made it in like 3.5 or 3.4, but the LM Studio 6 was made in 3.6, hence it works in 4.1. Now I've stored scenes and different scenes here, so I'm just kind of testing this out and it does actually work. And the display options here for the gobo light setups everything pops up and i do like the fact of ev next is what i'm actually using right now so it's pretty cool so if you narrow down your point lights um, it's working a lot like an ies light and this is ev next i gotta just let you know this is crazy i just been add on creating and then work in the day job for the last few months and i haven't really gotten into too many of the updates but this is pretty sick um, you've got a gobo loader here so if you were to go in and create one of those setups i'll just go down to the shader editor and i'll just grab everything and hit delete and i'll come in here and uh, we can just, for the fun of it, I'll drop in the Umbrella Studio just to make sure that all of that is still working. And it is. It's very nice. Um, so let me go ahead. I'll just drop in a nice little spotlight for us. And in fact, let's not even go that route. I got presets, right? Don't have to work harder here. So I'll refresh this. And I'm just going to throw in my basic light gobo setup here. And I am so far off. I think I got this to scale, but uh, regardless. So here is where you would upload a gobo for this. And you'll be able to manipulate the image texture node that pops in with the node group whenever you put in your preset. And so if you come in to the gobo uploader here, load no, new gobo, you'll see you have a list of different options. And I already covered this, so I'm not really going to go back over it too much. Uh, but just in case you missed out, um, let's drain it back up kind of nice and big there. And you can kind of play around with the gobo here. It's very accurate. Uh, you can rotate this around. It's going to stay where it's supposed to, and it'll only do what you want. Now, get to the other options here that I just added. Now, this is a loop for all objects right now is just displaying the one light in the scene and then the properties that are based on that light i can of course grab the light and change a few properties now right here if i click the switch objects displayed it's going to automatically switch over to the mesh objects in the scene now and so now you're going to loop through all of those objects and it'll give you uh, properties, you'll be able to grab this one, change the shading, bring up wireframe, show in front, which is pretty cool. And if you just throw in, you know, any type of object and it's in your way, you see this one's listed as cube, and I've already got that one, but if I grab this one and click, it's going to work better in shading. So if I can't see that, and I just want to get a little view of it real quick, then I can do this and it'll show it in front and kind of occlude the stuff in the background. And of course, vice versa, if I'm facing the other way for whatever mesh and go ahead and delete that because I don't need it, but this is cool. And so if you grab a mesh object now, you can jump immediately into vertex select. You can switch to edge select 
or you can go to face select. And so you'll be able to select the edge, all that, and then jump immediately back into object mode. And then you can switch back to displaying all of the lights in the scene. And that's what Light Magic Studio is all about because you are going to need to grab your mesh and do things. And I'll add some more to this as well. Let this be a really good start so you can go through here. Uh, it's highlighted blue at all times, but it's always going to work. And so you can switch between those. And that's one of the nicer upgrades as of recently. And then uh, once we grab this, uh, I added back in the camera manager, but there is no camera in the scene. So we got to just add a camera the old school way and boom, here it is. And that is the camera manager from LM Studio 5, which I think a lot of people liked. I got a lot of feedback on that actually. It's got the focus camera algorithm thing built in and that just grabs the closest object to the camera. And then for the LM Studio 6 overall, you know you can hit A for all and grab all the stuff that's in here and store it. Scale things up, change positions, uh, change you know colors and we switch back. See, that would have been a real pain to do that before. Switch colors here, minimize, add, and then I can switch between these and the light, uh, you'll see it changes color here. And I could, you know, change and continuously add new things and store all these properties. It's really cool. And so being able to do that is going to be like a big upgrade for you. You don't have to go into any other panels hardly. Yeah, so there you go. There's some of the upgrades. Um, I've got to follow socials down here if you guys want to go check out the TikTok, which I haven't done a whole lot with lately. I got the YouTube, you found me here more than likely, and I've got an Instagram, haven't had a lot of chance to do much with that. But those are the big upgrades for now. Uh, I do have a light boost. Let's see, is this the boost or is this the, let me grab my light. That's always a pain. So let's grab this and just join it over. That's a pain too. There we go. So we don't have to be in this, but whatever. Um, one of these buttons down here will give you a random value every time you click it it's the light here um, it'll give you a random lighting value each time you click on it and we'll make sure we see how this kind of works so you can change scene looks very quickly and sharpen that up a little bit green doesn't have to be green there we go something slightly normal and if we keep hitting this button we'll get a number that is between, I think, 5 or 10 and then like 250, 300, something like that. And that's pretty good range for lighting because uh, you can, if you get too bright, you can just change the exposure down. You don't have it overexposed. Yep, there you go. So that's it. A nice way to kind of prototype. And that's what LM Studio is all about. It's about presets. It's about prototyping. It's about having ease of use, the loop. Manager here is um, pretty darn good. I might add some more properties to this pretty soon too, but you know, have fun with it, guys. Go pick it up on the Blender Market, and you can like and subscribe for more great content. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial lesson, and I appreciate you watching.